Look at all the stuff I have to put away. I get all my groceries through Instacart and primarily we use Martin's and Aldi's. Aldi's is where we get all of our stuff from, mostly. All of our specialty stuff we get from Martin's. We usually have our order delivered. This was $200 worth of groceries. I cannot tell you how expensive this would have been for me just based off of the tip because we live several floors up. And this took three people four trips. My kids and their friend went to go pick this stuff up. Did you know that if you pick up your Instacart orders that it's free? No delivery fee, no service fee. I was shocked. They really saved us a lot of money. Like for a single mom raising kids on a budget, this is a big deal. I'm excited. I'm already starting out doing really well with my monthly budget for February. This is great. This money is going in the savings account. I never did this. When I did Instacart, I always put the cabbage in a bag and also the bananas. I cared about my job. Yep, see, they didn't put my bananas in a bag. No bag. I'm gonna put Judas flour up there first. When I get the groceries, it's not just a put the groceries away situation. It's a reorganize the kitchen. I like to put my flour in these type of bags because it gets everywhere. These save me from a lot of headache. I wrap my vegetables in them, stuff like this. Once they open it, will go in there. Lettuce especially because they like to grab a handful of lettuce and just put the head of lettuce back in there unprotected. So to save myself a lot of headache and to save the kids being fussed at, I just have to use those plastic bags. This can go, I'm gonna double bag this one. Judah's the baker, so he has his own little drawer, but I'm gonna have to dig in there and see what he's got going on over here. We'll get to that in a second. This is five, no, this is 25 pounds of flour. Five 25 pounds of flour. Five 25 pounds of flour. Five, five bags of flour. whatever. One, two, three, it's two more. Oh, did they only bring four? I thought he ordered five. I lined this with one of the Aldi's bags. And that's another benefit to using the pickup, with the Instacart, if you use Aldi, you don't get charged for the bags, which I don't get charged for bags anyway because I use the chat feature and ask them to bag everything in boxes. And 19 out of 20 of them do it. I've only had one person say she didn't know how to do it. So a little piping bag, little cornflakes, all this little stuff. You got them. If you watched my video the other day, and I was trying to remember the name of that tea that my son drinks that has all the nutrients in it, that tastes like a tree, it's called burdock, burdock root. That's what I'm putting in here. This is tea, it's loose tea. When I was putting away those tea bags, now I have a bookmark. This saves me room in my pantry and I can reuse my bag. Okay, that's the dry goods. I'm gonna go wipe off the shelf in the dry goods area, and then we're gonna put away our produce. Eat his food. It's already ate, so you just can have mine. Claire, you gotta stop eating people's food. No, I did that because my piece was bad. It don't matter why you say you don't think you gotta stop doing that. The whole face is broken off of that. Mm -hmm. Because I would, because I can just give him a piece. What you gonna give? <laughs> what are you going to give him? You got to go ahead. All beat up. He needs a new bag. This is just a mess. They just give you your food, any old type of one. Judah gonna have to come up off of this now. This is what I'm talking about. Why would you put this little hand for the bike in here? God. It's like they are not consistent with the size of their fruit. 
or their vegetables. Well, I'm sorry. These are not fruit. But the size of their vegetables because they were so big a month ago. Look how small this is. Like, I'm going to just take half of the chicken. Sorry, y'all. Stop all. taking his food. I didn't have my half a chicken. It's just like a never-ending cycle of BS. I'm not gonna take whatever. A lot of whatever. No. Whatever. Judah got chicken. Just awful. And y'all have to check it out. It's so many violations. Oh, and I'm gonna be out tomorrow, so I am just gonna go shopping too, guys. All right. Today? Tomorrow's Tuesday, yeah. So I might go to the bodega and get the right. Shoot. I forgot I'm about like, that. I might go down that way. It's right down the street, Roger. Just get it, cause you should have been got it weeks ago. Like you keep doing, like it's your, your, that's your job. Like you're supposed to bring home the meat, male. All right, Roger. Especially since you're always the one begging for rice. She was begging for rice I'm earlier. Just, I'm just getting rice. Just rice. I'm trying to think if there's any niche thing I want to do. No, because we're on a budget yeah. and we're sticking to it. I know. I got my meal plan and everything. And I, I'm even introducing new food, so I don't have to hear your mouth. Like, you're fine, man. You like, got me really, really, really good. And do. Pretty. You're the beat, though. I'll tell her how we don't eat meat. How we only you're eat a liar. Meat. How we only. No, we can't. We, we only. We talk the truth about everything. That's y'all are fake vegans. Okay. Weekend vegans, that's what they should call y'all. Yeah. Yeah, we really are we haven't had chicken in so long that we've only got it because he was here. And all that meat and stuff is Judah's in there because we just, we don't really be caring. No, Judah said I needed to start introducing protein. And like, you becoming a real grown man and you need, he's talking about meat. chicken. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because it's less expensive than fish. Less, yes, expensive than fish. Because you said that was the only reason and you And we always out. eat certain foods around certain times of the year. Oh, for sure. Y'all are seasonal eaters. I can't. I don't even think he knows he has half this stuff in here. Yeah. He got so serious. <laughs> I was like, okay. When he get in this kangaroo stance, this you know it's like, serious. Like, that session is Wednesday. He, you know he texted me? Okay. The session is on Wednesday. Wait, your session? No. Oh, look how excited you got. No, Judo session. session. Like your song so, right your session. Just, just, just. Anyway, not know about this him or not. Cause we were just talking about you. And we made your food. You want food? Judah, they were I dead ass about to eat your food. No, dead we, ass. No, we were not. I you are a motherfucking liar. Right, let food. me see. Where's that? You, you should I sit these out so they can get right? Oh, no, I ate your food earlier. It's right there. I told you. That's vegetable oil in there, too. That's vegetable oil. They don't care. Like canola oil. Cause if it was bad, you wouldn't be using it. I ain't really. Yeah. It's not great, but it ain't gonna kill him to use it. But why do we use it? He got it for something. Really. He got it for something. But if you the one that got that. You know, it's a whose chicken breast is it? Recipe development. But the, she said she didn't fry hers enough, but that's the only reason she ate some of your food, cause she couldn't eat hers. Okay, because Judah told me to stop. Was perfect. Judah told me to stop letting her do that. I don't need on. Because, like, why would you buy your mama? Grab these up as we use it. Break this chicken down. You said you wanted more carrots. But use the ones that are already open for you. I can't go to the studio with Judah. It's Valentine's Day. What if I just bring them? No. No, you can't. You don't see much. Wait, this is business anyway. It's family business. It's not even just business. This is art. This is what do you got to focus. Do you, do you want me that's right, I need oh you my God. You acting like me. me. It was a, he was mixing somebody's song down. A black dude. Where, where black was dude. Um, so, okay, you know how with Tim said right here, there's like another computer to the left right mm -hmm. there. And he was just there and mixing somebody down. Because I was like, so what's up? Because I was like, who are you? Like, because you in my session. Who are you? Tell him, what did you say? What did he say? Oh, no, no, no. I'm just mixing something down for so-and-so. And I'm like, oh, cool. So you working with such and such? And he like, oh, yeah. Oh, whatever his name is, Hudson. He was like, yeah, yeah, I'm just, you know, blah, blah, blah. I, I made sure to know who that was. Wait, so he was in the session while you were recording? No, but he wasn't doing, he was just mixing somebody's stuff down at that little computer. So I'm thing. saying while you were recording your folks. Well, that's yeah. what I'm saying, like. But that's never happened before. That's yeah, never happened for that me. Happened. That's inappropriate. I feel like, is it? They, somebody it, that works it, it, there. It, it, I feel like it's happened you, before. Yeah, that is inappropriate. Oh, I didn't think nothing of it. It's all, I didn't think nothing of it. Like, personally, I, would, I don't care if he's a producer. I would kick him out of And Fire person. said, and I trust Fire Pink. Oh, and he said, is that cool? Fire he did say, is that cool? Let me say that, too. 
No, because he the was only super time respectful. That someone's ever been in the studio with me is when somebody like legit when MBG and them came over there. Yeah, they came. Over. But that, that was a cool story. Like, I was about to say you got yeah. something out of it. And he didn't even just like walk like up in there like he was. And just I going actually hope situations like that happen. He went in there because he heard me recording. He wanted to know who was in there recording like that. And he was just too because he did just kind of just like walk up in there like with, like the doors are never locked. He just like walked up in the session and he was just standing there while while, while I was recording. But it was chill though. But then after that, it's it's hard to like kick him out without being all weird and shit. Not really. You could just be like, all right, I'm about to finish up recording this shit. I just be talking about. people straight up because I, I I just let's not make it awkward. Because, uh, I've, I've been wanting to. Sh- I'm glad that y'all are getting in the studio now because I've been. I didn't want to show any of y'all. Cause y'all are on a whole different level now. I didn't want to show any of y'all old music to anybody yet until. Because even though your music is good and they're still gonna be impressed. I, I, you I, preach I, know y'all got so, I don't I know even y'all post got my music because I'm sleep. so sick of hearing it. Like I've been posting the same shit for two years. I don't hear it more. Like I want my I wanna hear my new shit. Like, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I don't even wanna hear that y'all sleep and like, y'all ready to surprise people. So I'm just I am ready to show I know y'all, what you mean. I'm ready to show y'all show people y'all new work. I don't take I offense to what you that. say. I really no, don't. I see y'all like me. I don't I don't take offense to what you say. And I'm over it the next. Like every single time I do that and I realize that it's just like and I know that how hard the old music is, I know that you, that you don't want that. It's right like showing somebody person. old pictures of you. Like, you're not going to show pictures of you in middle was, school. Like, like, I was doing my logo, I showed her your old music. Because I was just like, yeah, you know, and I thought, because her prices are ridiculously low. Remember I told you, like, the average, like, $100 per piece? Yeah. She was literally, like, $10 for a sketch, $30 for a final. The one you showed me, she's yes. so good, though. I know. I know. She, you, you know the funny me? part? Yeah. She probably she thinks that she, if she doesn't them? know, if she would raise her prices, yeah. she'd get more sales. No, see the thing about, it's not, it's not an easy market. I'm done. So, um, actually, I'm, I'm gonna take you with me, Judah, when I go to be more this time, cause I'm, I'm to see, cause she wants to trip. She wants to, she needs, she wants to trip, cause she got spiritual. Yeah, she buddy. My tarot card read. That didn't take too long. I'm tired, but I'm not going to bed. I have videos to edit. I have things to clean, and I have stuff to do. Peace.